We're here at Magnolia's. They've been around for 30 years. So one of the best places to go for eclectic Southern cuisine. They do lunch, dinner, but they're especially known for their brunch. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Located on East Bay downtown near the market lies one of the most iconic southern restaurants in Charleston, Magnolia's. Opening in 1990, Magnolia's quickly became an iconic place for southern cuisine. Now many restaurants that I review, I tend to tell you to make reservations, but this place, it's an absolute necessity. When we came here, a man in front of me wanted to get reservations off the street and was told he was going to have to wait two hours. So please reserve well in advance. The inside of the restaurant is very elegant and those big windows provide wonderful natural lighting. On the way to the back, we see the kitchen where they're hard at work cranking out those delicious dishes. And finally, this nice little dining area in the back with its artwork and wonderful lighting. In the middle of the restaurant, there's this nice hardwood wraparound bar. And as you can see, every chair at the bar is taken. This place is super popular, especially at brunch time. Now, are you looking for a place to have a wedding or a corporate get together? Their second floor is dedicated to private parties only. It has its own kitchen, its own bar. And look at this meeting area right here. It is so elegant and majestic with that huge window. We start off our meal with a couple of peach bellinis, peach and champagne, and a little bit of grenadine for extra flavor. They also bring a nice basket of piping hot bread to your table, complete with butter that has chives and cream cheese in it. Now this is their down south egg roll. It has collard greens, chicken, tasso ham, a red pepper puree, spicy mustard, and a peach chutney. It was a nice way to start off our meal. The egg roll was crispy and crunchy, the meat inside tender, and overall had a nice flavor. And that peach chutney added a nice little bit of sweetness that needed to tie it all in. All in all, a very unique appetizer. My wife got the banana pudding stuffed French toast with a peanut butter syrup and applewood smoked bacon. This French toast has nice caramelization on the outside. Look how shiny it is. Inside, it's filled to the brim with yummy banana pudding. It's a very good dish, but it's a very sweet dish, so be prepared. It's almost like a dessert. I went with their country fried steak. It came with white cheddar and caramelized onion grits, two over easy eggs, buttermilk biscuits, and a cracked pepper gravy. Now the steak they use for their country fried steak is not pounded out cube steak like you're accustomed to. It's actual steak and a good quality cut at that. The eggs were cooked perfectly and those grits were very unique. I mean with those onions and that cheese in there, it was a flavor I've never had in grits before and I did like it. So if you're looking for a classy place, a little bit on the elegant side in beautiful downtown Charleston, and you want some eclectic southern cuisine, look no further than Magnolia's. They're waiting on ya. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps grow the channel, and we put out a new video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.